Bam! How's it going guys? Token Vaping. So today's juice review is another flavor in an ongoing line that I've had the privilege and honor to receive for the purpose of review. Um, I did do a review on one of their flavors so far. You can check that out on my channel and I was really impressed with the quality of the flavor and the, and the vapability of it. So I definitely wanted to uh, do reviews for the rest of the line. The company is called Hype City Vapors, and you've probably seen them on social media. They're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You can email them directly. Their website is hypevapors, hypecityvapors.com. Now, before I go any further, I have to do my quick disclaimer that I've started to have to do, unfortunately, because there is a lot of controversy and argue, not arguing, but um, back and forth between members of the vaping community, non-vaping community, um, people in between, things like that, about the logos and... Um, advertising that is being used among um, various juice lines, devices, things like that, and the way that they're being advertised and, and things like that. I am not here to judge that. I am not here to discuss it. I am not here to give my pros and cons about what they use. Whatever a company decides to go with, that is their option. That is their choice. That is their business. It is their company. I am just here to review the flavor, whether or not it it measures up to the flavor profile, what my personal opinion about the flavor is, the clouds of it, the vapor of it, things like of that nature. That is what the purpose of my review is. With that said, this is Hype City Vapors. I did, uh, as I stated, I did a previous review on one of their flavors, the Tropical Colada. It was actually really impressive. The mix was not something I would have expected, but it vaped very, very well. So if, and I'm gonna say something corny about this but if the rest of the line does measure up the way that that flavor does then guess what believe the hype it will be real i had to throw that in there um but this is their box they um their website is hypecityvapors.com they are based out of california they are part of the gmp which is the good manufacturing processes which is a really big deal in the in the vaping world as it is so it does show that they do care about what they're doing how they do it and what they're offering out to the public um, they also are uh they use an, I, an iso facility as well so that again is just another stamp in their in their level of quality and what they're trying to put out and the um, consistency of of being a premium a premium line but this is their box this is the front part of it it has the name of the flavor morning dew and as you can tell by the the picture on the front it's supposed to be a honeydew cantaloupe with vanilla ice cream that is not a common flavor that you would think of that's why i want to do this one and i'm kind of interested to see what this is going to taste like it is a three milligram it is offered in a zero a three and a six and it is an 80 20 mix ratio so the clouds are definitely going to be there hopefully the smoothness will be there as well but the flavor should pop um just as just as good as um, the, the cloud production on it is. It does have the 21 plus as California is based on the 21 or over for vaping and anything else similar to that. Um, and LA to be specific, uh, it does have the hypecityvapors.com and their social media on both sides. The back has their warning and ingredient labeling as well. The bottle itself basically is pretty much just an exact replica of the label. It has everything on it that the box does it also has a batch code number and a use by date which is actually pretty cool to show quality as well so that it does not oversteep before you get to it or that you know that if it's still uh, vapable or not um, does it basically is in a 60 ml chubby gorilla bottle so it's portable um, it's compact it's easy to use and it also comes pre obviously in a unicorn bottle with a nozzle tip now some of these do have wider nozzle tips than a standard unicorn bottle if you're still using a tank or something like that that has uh, less room to work with, you know, as far as for dripping or the fill port, you can just transfer it to a regular size unicorn bottle and you're good to go. But, you know, nowadays the tanks are getting bigger, fill ports are getting bigger, drippers are getting bigger, things like that. Um, but just to have it already ready to go, just popping it open like that, it's always, it's always pretty cool so that you don't have to worry about breaking the glass or the, the eyedropper breaking, things like that. So as you see, the security ring on this is making this a first vape, first review, and it will be going on a fresh cotton wick, as always, right here, dry, brand new. Quick shout out to USV, United Society of Vape, for the L-Mod here that I'm using for the review, and as always, Texas Tough Cotton.
just works really well for me. It's quick, it's fast. I can uh, I can work really quickly on the go if I'm in a rush. Um, but I like it mainly because it has little to no break in time. So basically, as soon as I start dripping on it, it basically is going to be uh, pretty much all flavor right out right off the gates with that. So I will put that link in the comment box as always. And this is the flavor profile that they sent me, and it just gives the different flavors and. Um, things of that nature so as i said this is a sweet honeydew with a splash of french vanilla cream actually not specifically ice cream but so it should have a really creamy a creamy vape flavor to it along with the honeydew sweetness so it would be interesting to see because like i said it's not a common mixture that you would expect to find you know in in uh, a, a, a vape flavor Now, on a first inhale, I'm going to say I'm actually kind of impressed with it because it has a very sweet honeydew flavor, but it smells a lot fresher than other ones that I've smelled. Some flavors that have honeydew in the flavor profile of it have almost a, a sweetness that makes it seem a little more artificial or a more like a, a sweeter sugar-based flavor. This actually is almost like if you took an actual honeydew you know, at the store before slicing it open and then just smelled it to see if it's ripe. The, the flavor and the odor of a, of a ripe honeydew that hits your nose is a lot of what I get out of this. Now, all vapors are different. Everybody has a different sensitivity to flavors. Everybody has a different taste palette and taste preference. So I'm not trying to tell anybody that this is for sure what you're going to get out of it, you know, by any means. Somebody might get more of one, one of something out of it than I do. Or vice versa, you know, everybody is everybody is different in their own way, and that's what makes the vaping world so unique. But for me, I get specifics out of certain things, and all, that's all I'm trying to do is just let you know a bit more about a flavor so you can see if it's something that you might be interested in trying. So we're going to go ahead and cap this up. And as always, I'm vaping at 75 watts, and this is Morning Dew from Hype City Vapors. So with that 8020, as you can see, those are some dense clouds and it actually blocks out that and that's with my uh, shades open. So that's sunlight that it's blocking. So cloud factor is definitely not an, uh, not a problem here. You're definitely going to get solid clouds out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick redrip just to ensure that even though there's two specific flavors in this, I want to make sure that I'm not overlooking anything or I'm missing anything that would make me misinform you of what the flavor actually is coming off as. So if you bear with me here one second, I'm going to go ahead and just do this quick redrip. Okay, flavor-wise, if you've never tried this combination before, you need to try it. If you're looking for something different that has a slight bit of uniqueness to it without going too extreme in a flavor change, this definitely is interesting. Um, you definitely taste the honeydew. Bar nothing else, you absolutely get honeydew. But it is not overpowering. It's not um, super sweet, and it's not too much in, in your mouth at once. Um, you definitely get a nice, even amount of honeydew to spread out through the vape. The vanilla, the French vanilla cream, it's not a specific cream or an ice cream that I get out of it, but it's more. I would, I would lean it more towards a cream because it smooths out the vape in general and gives you more of a creamy honeydew flavor that still is sweet to the taste, um, but not super heavy so that it is a smooth, subtle vape in the overall picture. I don't know if that really makes sense, but you don't get a blast of flavor and then it's gone. You get, it, it's kind of a build up to the flavor, but then right as the flavor hits its point, it smooths out so that it, la it, it lasts longer in the vape. And then you're left with the honeydew sweetness left over that makes you want to keep vaping it. Um, I can definitely see this as an all-day vape. It, it has the smoothness to last you throughout the day without you getting too tired of it or over vaping on it too fast. But it's not too heavy that if the weather is, is hot outside, you know, people tend to go towards the lighter, lighter flavors. This has just enough lightness and crispness to it that 
you could definitely vape this whether it's hot or cold and still be able to vape this regularly on on a daily basis so it's definitely unique in that sense um but it there's not too much going on with it but what they did with it they made sure that they did well with it so like i said you get an even amount of both flavors you get the the vanilla cream with a, with a good hit of honeydew but it's smooth enough that it can last you throughout the day without being too much but still be an enjoyable vape because you do get enough of clouds and flavor uh, no throat hit at an 8020 i would have been really surprised if there was one there absolutely is no throat hit whatsoever it is smooth it is it is a light enough to be uh, an all-day enjoyable one um, but it's still heavy enough that you get enough flavor out of it to enjoy the vape Absolutely. So definitely check it out. It's HypeCityVapors.com. They're on Facebook. They're on Instagram. They're on Twitter. Um, Hype City, thank you for this ongoing opportunity. This is an esteemed privilege, and I'm very grateful for this chance. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I myself can do to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you, it's the only reason why I do this. So definitely reach out to me if there's anything I can do, questions, comments, concerns, a particular video that you'd like to see done. I will do everything in my power to make that happen. But until next time, no matter what, always remember, truly love yourself. Vape on, vape strong. Have a good one, guys.